Okay, how many beats do you make in a day? Write down below in the comments. I'm really curious to know. Are you making breakfast? Huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mmm, that looks good. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> oh my For this part, it's just gonna be one octave up, like this. Oof. And then back to that. No. You don't wanna go play? <laughs> you guys are wondering what it's like out here this weather where i'm recently moved to most of the time is really windy so i just try my best to just stay indoors but this you know right now it's, it's just i'm trying to get used to this weather it's not too bad though it still feels good outside yo man i need to get on that level ocean got too many sins bro like that's not cool being a music producer has really changed in the, like, the last, I would say, like 12 years. And the reason I say that is because social media and the internet has really changed the game for music producers. Like then you would have to go to sessions to meet artists in person, make beats with them, and then possibly they, you know, hop on the track that you're making and then you have a placement. So don't get me wrong, that's still a very good way to meet artists, I've done that myself. It's a good way to network and do your thing. What I'm, but what I'm saying is not the only way to make an income now through music. All these streaming services like Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, everything that you hear of nowadays is also another revenue source. Not to mention YouTube, Instagram, TikTok now. There's so many other ways to make income now. You can also send a DM to an artist and then email him a beat and if he likes the beat, then he can definitely use it. A lot of placements happen like that nowadays. And all of this, what I'm trying to say is don't just get caught up in getting placements because there's so many other ways to make money. And I do say that I'm a full-time music producer, even though I do have like a full-time job in the mornings. I would say it's more like a part-time job, but it pays me like full-time. But other than that, I'm in the studio here grinding like every single day. So when I'm not enjoying time with my family, which is something I love doing, I'm in here grinding real hard, making content, making beats to sell, answering emails to brand, networking, just looking for the next best opportunity to scale the business. Believe it or not, there's guys making way more money selling beats than actually getting placements. It's crazy, right? But don't get me wrong, once that placement check starts rolling in, after placement after another after another, it's pretty nice. So I'm saying all this to say, don't keep your head in a box. Don't put yourself in a box. Don't put limits on yourself. There's so many more opportunities and avenues you can take with music now. Getting placements is one of them, yes, but don't get stuck there, all right? Because anybody can do this, and if you really want it, you can do it too.
like that brute sign RL. So sometimes the cool thing about finding a sound is that you can potentially find a sound that is not like amazing, but you can kind of, you know, just use it and stop using the same sounds that everybody else is using. I don't know, I find that interesting. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget that if you want to start producing, you want to start making beats, or if you already are, there's different ways to make income from music. All you got to do is start somehow. It doesn't matter if you don't have like a crazy setup. No, all you need is a laptop and that's it. So, but the point is to just start. Then you will gradually just get better and better at everything you're doing, especially the business side of it. All right, so I don't know if you can hear my son in the background, but I got to go. See you guys till next time. Stay blessed. Stay positive. Peace. Thank you.